Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Will we finally get the opportunity to pack a brand new promo card today on EFC 24? Will they make the triple threat cards that are coming today on this game actually packable for once? I honestly think they need to, to make this promo concept delivered today. We're going to talk about what this brand new promo is about with new cards and new hero items coming to the game today. But will EA deliver in that department? Also, will they deliver with SBCs? Because we might have a hero player SBC today, which would be really cool. But also, we got some big player of the month SBCs that could be coming today. We have to talk about fodder, how it's going to impact the market, and everything going on in this game today. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content really fast. There was not a lot to go over, but a couple of things to note. Check your clubs, as we often talk about on Thursdays. Valencia players this week were about 5,000 coins after this SBC release from MMs. Check your clubs. Make sure you have, if you have any of those in there, either do the SBC or sell those and take the cash. Also, I know, you know, most people are going to look over the player SBC from yesterday content, uh, Negredo, but 99 heading accuracy, I believe, 97 jumping, and 99 strength. Um, it's kind of like EA took the sliders and just turned them all the way up for this card. So 83 rated squad, four star skills, left footed. Might as well give it a shot, right? Power shot, finesse, power header. Maybe he's a fun card to put in your team for a couple of games, a squad battles or something like that. So that was a part of content yesterday as well as a FC Pro objective. A lot of questions about this. Right now, guys, we can actually complete this. I think it's this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. There is a Pro FC Pro Open event. This is the Pro uh, players, kind of like the FGS, the FIFA 23 uh, broadcast that we would watch and get packs and get those like tokens to turn them in for packs. It looks like this year, all you have to do is connect your Twitch or your YouTube account with your EA accounts. And I think EA is gonna put out a tweet this weekend on how to do that. They'll drop a link, it'll be really easy to do. Then you just have to watch those live events for either 15 minutes or 60 minutes. And then this one is watch 90 minutes. Uh, and then you get some packs. A mega pack on tradable, it's, it's not too bad. You just put a tab open. If you wanna watch it, you can watch it. but Drop a tab, put it open, and then kind of let it run, and you'll eventually claim those rewards if you have your accounts linked up. So I want to mention that. Also today, we're going to talk about it first before we head into a lot of the other content today. We got some Road to the Knockout upgrades that are coming today. Now the question is, when is EA going to upgrade these? I remember last week when they upgraded these, they took their sweet freaking time, and they actually upgraded them at like the turn of the day, UK time, into Saturday, which is really not what they should be doing because they said they were going to upgrade them on Fridays, right? So I don't know when those upgrades are coming today. They could come early in the morning like we expected them. They could come at any random point during the day, but there are a lot of upgrades coming today. Mario Goetz is going from an 87 to an 89. Openda is getting a plus two as well. A lot of cards are getting upgraded, and some of them, like Modric, like Erling Holland, and you know, obviously the cards that are getting a plus two, Gutsa and um, Openda, they are no longer eligible for upgrades. Also, like Hinkapi is no longer available for upgrades because he has now gotten two of the possible two upgrades that he could have had. So just be careful, especially with cards like Modric and Holland, as they are no longer going to be live. I'm sure there are some people that have invested in these cards and are expecting them to go up after they get their final form and release of an upgrade. Modric going to a 93 rated card today. He is no longer live after this upgrade, which I think hurts a bit of the value on a, a, some of these cards. So I would just be careful with those selling and hype, especially in the current market conditions, is probably the best play. But there could be some cards that go up today. Like, I cannot believe the fact that Joao Pedro, with all of the striker evolutions, we're getting another evolution today, by the way, for attackers. I can't believe this guy just keeps going up in price. It's crazy. He's 500,000 coins. Yes, he's going to an 88 today, but bro has one play style. And yeah, he has insane stats, but I'm just a little surprised at how expensive he is. That's a card I'd sell into the hype as well. So just watch out for that today. Um, who knows when EA, again, are going to upgrade those cards. Now, speaking of items that are coming today, we have a lot of content to talk about, especially with SBCs. And we're going to start it off today with content that's dropping before the actual normal content drop time of 6 p.m. UK or whatever it is in your time zone. Two player of the month today. Remember about a month ago when we had Rafael Liao player of the month and Hyunmin Sun and a lot of fodder went up like crazy because it was two big player of the month, specifically Sun. Today we're getting two player of the months once again. Syria POTM Lautaro Martinez is expected to drop today. I don't think he's going to be that expensive, but he should be decently higher rated. 89 is the 
predicted rating here for this card. It should be right around what he is. Might not be that expensive, but if you're running a Serie A team, need Argentinian or the Interlinks, might be a decent card to have there. I don't think it'll be too expensive. Hopefully EA give him a nice boost and make it a nice card. The player of the month that everybody's looking forward to today is Mohamed Salah. Once again, I'm expecting him to be a 91, not a 92. And if I had to guess, guys, I think his SBC is going to come in the realm of around 900,000 coins. That's kind of just, I'm basing that off of the Jude Bellingham price, uh, where they went below the price of the Trailblazers before it crashed. Now, I know that this card now is like 880k since the market has crashed significantly, but I wouldn't be surprised if this SBC is either at this same price as the Trailblazer or a little bit more because this player of the month should have or will have the Finesse Plus playstyle, which will be, of course, very overpowered and probably seen as more overpowered than his Trailblazer card. So, Watch out for this SBC today, guys. If you're investing at all for it, I would invest in the higher rateds. These cards have been slowly rising with all the SBCs that have been talked about, that have been leaked. You can see these cards yesterday were about 25,000 coins. Right now, we're looking at 27.5 for 88 rateds. 87s are up a little. 89s are up a little. Even 90s are starting to rise just that little bit. I understand where people are at with investing in fodder. I am not investing in it right now. I would say to you, if you're somebody who wants to get Salah done, you've got fodder in the club, you've been saving for it since the league, and you need to go and get some more, maybe you go and buy the fodder today, get some of the stuff in your club, so you're ready to go and do it right away when it comes out. But I don't know, man. I mean, it all, all signs point towards fodder going up. We'll talk about it a little bit more at the end of this video, but I'm personally not investing just because it seems a little bit uncertain right now at this time in terms of fodder. And I think I'm going to wait a little bit later into this weekend to really decide what I want to do. But it could go up today, especially on the higher end with Salah being such a hyped up player of the month. Let's go into the real promo for today, though, and talk about triple threat. Because this is the tweet that we saw yesterday. Of course, you've seen the loading screen. Actually, it's kind of interesting. We don't exactly know who's on the loading screen besides Ginola in the middle we have some guesses but we're not entirely sure let me give you a rundown on what this triple threat promo is it's going to feature three players from the same club one men's player one women's player and one hero for each of the three teams selected now this is a prediction but there's also a couple of leaks included in here you can see here you got morientes athenia and tony cruz right all real madrid right morientes real madrid hero but you got one men's, one women's, and one hero player, all released as like the triangle, the triple threat. I think the idea of this promo is that you could get all three of those players from your favorite club or the club of players you want to try out, put them into your team, and they would almost all the time be on two chemistry, right? The only thing that wouldn't work here is like for this example, Puteas would only be on one chemistry because of the... Uh, the Barcelona link with De Jong would give her the only chemistry point. She wouldn't get a nation link with Morientes like Athenia would. So that's going to be the difficult, difficult part for some of these cards. But I think the whole idea is to put all three players into your team and to allow them to easily link together, especially if you throw a manager in the mix and a league. That seems to be the whole point of the promo. So who's in the promo, you might ask? Well, this is all the leaks that we have right now. And this does include an SBC and an objective. But it's really, it's really interesting because now that we have this formula of like three players per club, you can kind of fit together who's going to be in, right? Down here on the right side, we've got Joe Cole, Gallagher, and Kirby, all Chelsea, right? There's the Morientes, we have the Athenia, and we have Carvajal. Those are the Real Madrid players. Govu is Olympic Lyon. He matches up with Cocker Ray, but we don't know who the women's player is going to be for Lyon. Uh, going over to City, we've got Greenwood, we've got Grealish, and we've got Yaya Toure. We've got Spurs. Spurs actually including an objective and an SBC. Ledley King is leaked to be an SBC that could be coming today. It's one of the two SBC leaks. And if we're getting another center back hero from the Prem, another Premier League center back SBC, I mean, center backs, guys, are just going to be cards you probably don't want to touch or buy on this game again through the entire weekend because Thiago Silva two days ago and now Ledley King today potentially would really hurt center backs even more. And this would, in my opinion, be just as cracked of a card as Thiago Silva with the hero links, English links. I mean, look at that card. That looks like a really insane item. So it's going to come down to the price for sure. But 
That's a card that a lot of people are excited for today, especially with the links. And then you've got James Madison. That is our expected objective player today. These are his official stats. It's not that big of an upgrade over his player of the month. I still use the player of the month on my team. I'm definitely going to have to get this card done, obviously being a Spurs fan. But this card's really good in game with the dead ball plus. So I'm excited for that one for sure. And it looks like it's not too hard to do. Winning 12 matches is a bit much, but a lot of us have Premier League players in our team anyway, so it should be decently easy to get that done. But then this is the team again, right? The only thing that's a bit confusing about this is some of the players don't match up. Like, you've got Ginola, who they show here as Premier League, but I'm pretty sure Ginola is going to be PSG, guys, because Karchawi is another, like, the only other PSG card that could be a part of a trio in this league so far. And there's no other PSG men's player. Some people have shot at Hakimi, right? He got snubbed from Team of the Week. People thought he should have been in. Kempembe is another card people think might be in the promo team. But there's going to be a men's PSG player as well. Dirt Kite, I don't know how he fits into this. There's no Liverpool players or Feyenoord players leaked at all. I'm really confused about his card. I think we're going to learn more today about how this works, but I'm assuming that all three players are going to be released at the same time. So maybe some of these players are going to be released next week or in the mini release. Who knows? But today for the players, like if you look at this team as well, like there's some decent names in here, but it doesn't look that insane. It kind of looks mid to me, guys. But that's why I think EA today might make these cards actually really packable. I know the Centurions promo has been a promo where pack weight again feels pretty bad like a lot of you guys have been telling me nate i'm not packing many promo cards i think that's the biggest complaint on this game right now is the inability to pack promo cards even the fodder ones like i think about the packs that i've opened through objectives and sbcs and even a couple of store packs i, I think i've maybe hit one discard promo item in the last couple of weeks that's a big big complaint right now and with the way this promo team looks it kind of i mean i've used this example before but it kind of reminds me of road of the knockouts team too where the players that were in that team weren't bad but they didn't seem as big of name players maybe that we had in centurions like rashford or pedri or even trailblazers like we had mbappe and griezmann and hansen right and those cards were tough to pack Maybe they're going to make these a little more packable today. It just would make sense with the concept of this promo. So I hope that is how it's going to be. Now, a couple other things I want to mention. There's another SBC that is leaked. That It might not be Ledley King today. But if it's going to be this Giroud flashback, who is he going to link to as a part of Triple Threat? Or is this just going to be a one-off SBC that could drop today? Usually on a brand new promo Friday, they try to drop an SBC that correlates with the promo that is dropping. That's why we expect Ledley King that could be coming out today. But Giroud is another leak that we have right now. This could be a fun one. I hope it's cheap. I hope he gets a big pace boost, which I would expect him to get that. And uh, this might be an SBC we look forward to on Saturday. Finally, answering the question, remember the EA tweet earlier in the week where they said we were going to get a flashback SBC? This looks like it's going to be our guy. Now, we're not done talking about content yet because today as well, you maybe have noticed some right backs are up insane amounts in price. We touched on it in yesterday's video. Some players like Juan Basaka, Carvajal Hall was up even before he was leaked. Um, Ruben or Nelson Semedo. A lot of right backs are up big time in price because of this right here. Guys, we are getting evolutions today as well. It is leaked, of course, that we're getting evolutions today. And Rick has been leaking these evolutions. He's been pretty much spot on every single time, as well with the objectives every single week. This is the right back Evo that we are supposed to be getting today. It is a free Evo. Overall max 84, pace max 83, and a couple other requirements in there. And it's a decent boost, right? You're going from max 83 pace, um, you're getting a plus, I think it's a plus 5 pace boost, right? It's a plus 3 overall. Carvajal Hall would go from an 82 to an 85, and he would get like plus 3s in every stat category, a couple plus 4s, and the pace goes up plus 5. So if you take a look at like Juan Basaka, who we just kind of looked at, Juan Basaka is going to be potentially the Gavardiol of what happened last week with the center back upgrade because the Man United links, he would go to like 80 dribbling, 80 defense, 75 physical, and he would have 80, uh, 88 pace. That would be the max pace that you could get today on one of these right back Evo cards. And he fits the bill. He's got a slide tackle plus play style, Man United links. So if you were investing in any of these right backs, even like Pedro Poro is up a lot in price from Spurs. I would sell these in the hype, guys. Uh, whether they're two, three, four thousand coins or like seven to eight K, maybe Wambasaka goes extinct. But I mean, guys, I would probably 
try to sell these in the hype because you don't want to get stuck with a situation that happened with the center backs last time we got evos and to me this evo looks like a decent upgrade because it is free i mean plus five pace is not bad plus three plus four and other stat categories is not bad but it's not like wow amazing so i think i would sell into the hype guys on those right backs today if you have one that is inflated and also just it's kind of fun to see like when and uh when an evo like this comes out this is going to be the start of the time of the year where evos that you maybe already have are going to be able to start being reused in these next and upcoming ones so like right now i'm still working on alessandrini and and uh richards and i'm not very far with them at all but if you have other evos in your club this might be something from a previous evo with right backs that you could take to another level so that's an exciting part of things today as well with how these evos could be dropping that evo i think will be decently hyped but that's not the only one there is a second one it is paid though it's going to be fifty thousand coins for a triple threat attacker evo no word no news on the position if it's striker right wing left wing only uh, pace max 83 shooting max 83 dribbling max 84 defense max 65 so you can't do a midfielder type player and physical max 85 like gonzalo ramos team of the week is like extinct right now because of this people were putting in these requirements and figuring out who would be really good you get a play style of power shot technical and press proven as well you're going to have to get some really big stat upgrades. Like if this is a pace max 83, it better be like plus seven pace and taking us to 90 rated or something like that um, on some of those attacker cards. But again, that's another opportunity where somebody in your club who's already been evoed might be able to be placed right back into that one. I think Isak is a card that a lot of people were looking at as a card who hasn't gotten a promo yet this year that could potentially be very good in that evolution because he has got 83 pace he fits the bill there his shooting is under the requirement his dribbling matches the requirement and you know he's four star five star premier league so keep a close eye it comes down to the position for him today if he will be evoable or not and that one's going to cost you 50k so just be careful with that there but there's a lot of content coming today and it, it kind of seems like another promo friday where there's there's a lot of content that is upcoming. There's a lot going on today, guys, and we haven't even touched on all of it. There's even more news that we'll cover here in a second, but we got Player of the Month coming out early. We got new SBCs. We got the new Evos, new objectives to grind. It just seems like another weekend where there's a lot going on that could, in turn, hurt the market as well. We've got an SBC refreshing today, too, the 87 Max icon upgrade is actually going to refresh but guys i would pause on this one i would tell you if you have fodder today if you're doing centurions upgrade packs if you saved any packs for today i don't think i would do this sbc because there is new packs that are in the code this is what i want to touch on um a new icon pack and a new hero pack are in the code probably we're going to see this one one of these two featured this weekend for the first time a base hero player pack which means no rating maximum all the heroes would be included in this which makes sense because we're getting new versions of heroes this weekend as well so they can build upon that and drop a better hero upgrade pack that might be the sbc we see on sunday that'd be a massive one for sure and a base icon max 89 single player pack which is i think it increases the number of icons that you can pack from like 27 like i'm pretty sure there's only 27 icons you can pack in this i think moving it up to max 89 like doubles the amount of icons that are able to be packed from it so some of those bigger icons that you wouldn't have been able to pack before you would actually be able to get from that and that's pretty hype so with that being said another reason why people are going out and buying fodder especially like 86s, 87s, 88s, is because they expect those SBCs to be a bit more expensive, which I do agree with. But for me personally, we're not seeing any of those SBCs today, any of these two at least. This is going to be like a Saturday, Sunday at the earliest, maybe Monday in the next week sort of time frame. So I really hope, I have my fingers crossed, that fodder may drop a little bit tonight, but honestly it might not. So if you want to get some fodder and you're really worried about it, go ahead and stock the club, buy a little bit. Um, but, but yeah, there's a lot of SBCs upcoming. That's why there's a lot of demand for fodder, but just personally, I don't feel good enough investing in it right now. I'm going to see what today brings and then we'll go from there. Also some pretty crazy store packs, all untradeable, but a elite triple threat pack, which includes 33 rare golds, all 83 or above with three guaranteed to be 86 or higher. That's pretty crazy. That's a wild pack. That might be the most expensive pack that we've seen or close to it since you get so much fodder from that but with all this going on today what's going to happen on the market i mean every single friday we seem to have prices that just 
drop even further. And, and after the weekend that we have just had, where prices have absolutely gotten destroyed, are we going to see that same thing again with all the content? Honestly, guys, I, I can't see a market that goes up a lot this weekend. Like the weekend trajectory has been Fridays. Maybe stuff goes up a little bit for an hour or two hours after content, depending on the week. But then after that, it drops and it drops off a lot. Remember, we're still in a market where a lot of people are waiting for Black Friday to buy cards for their teams because we're getting closer and closer to that. We're in a competition, right? FC24 is competing with yet another game that is releasing today. Call of Duty is releasing. It was Fortnite last week. It's Call of Duty this week. Prices, and uh, I just think, are going to drop because of people trying out that game as well. Less demand for this game. I just think that once again today, gold cards are going to continue to drop. It'll probably happen later on into the evening. So I'd be careful buying teams. This is my rule of thumb. I know people want to play champs on Fridays. I don't want to tell you to not play champs. Go out, play the game, have fun, try out some cards. But what I would tell you to do is maybe just be careful with the cards that you buy and only buy cards that you're really wanting to use. And, and don't sell them or do sell them pretty quickly afterwards. I'd say it's better to lose on tax and better to lose a couple thousand coins because you bought a card, played five games, and it didn't move in value uh, on the lower tier for cards. I think it's better to do that than to hold the card for six, seven, eight more hours, maybe another day, and see the card drop off like it probably could this weekend. So that's my word of warning for the market. Now, if you're trying to trade and make a quick buck today, what I would tell you is, Think about what's moved pretty well over the weekend after we've had some of these SBCs release, especially with a lot of Premier League hype. If today is kind of seen as a mid day of content with not a lot going on, but we do have the Ledley King, if that's a really hyped SBC, and you have the Tiago Silva that's been released recently, you've got a Madison that's going to be in objectives that is a Premier League card as well. I'm, I think I'd maybe look at some Premier League out of pack specials or maybe some heroes maybe some English icons. Stuff that could go up today would be those rare cards that are out of packs, maybe some of the Centurions cards from the last two weeks of this promo team with links to today's players that are coming out or just meta cards in general. Some of these cards that have dropped off a bunch over the past couple of days might just be rare enough where they could actually have a bit of a price rise. Like Pedri has dropped off. He was 216,000 coins yesterday. Look at his low. 209 right and he's now back up a little bit 234 there's more gameplay demand on thursdays on fridays saturdays and sundays because it is when the best competitions are available to be played with qualifiers and with foot champs so there could be some rare cards that have some nice price rises today on this game i would just say don't put a ton of coins into making it happen unless you're okay with a little bit of risk because once again a lot of content is coming out which could drain coins so i would be careful but maybe stick to some of those premier league cards and watch the new promo cards as always because people get excited for them and there are opportunities to flip those brand new cards as well but if you're trading with those i would probably try to trade in the first three hours with all of that and then after that, I'd be very careful. I'm still lazy selling 83s and 84s. Or sorry, not 83s, 83s and 82s. Um, and I do have a couple cards that I'm just kind of trading with at the moment. Karchawi got panic sold big time yesterday, so I'm trying to flip a couple of her informed cards still. And I'm just mostly trying to stick to the rare cards. You know, it's risky, but it has resulted in some profits. And I think today as well with Road to the Knockouts, those might be some other really good cards to potentially trade with, especially when there's a Luis Diaz with only two items on the market. And he's actually up 100K. He was like 850 and now he's gone up in price. So that's going to be the, vi the video for today, guys. I mean, honestly, I can't complain about good content. I think we're going to get good content today. I just hope that as a part of this good content, EA make these new triple threat promo cards packable. They need to. With the state of the game, where it is at right now, these cards need to be attainable. They need to be cheap. And that'll bring a little bit of hype as well as the other good content that could be released today back to EAFC24. So if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys on the Twitch stream today. It's been Nate the Vote Account. See you guys there. Peace out.